Hello, this is Sir Brainwave with another Blender tutorial. This tutorial we're going to be making an enemy that will chase our player and eventually probably kill him. Okay, first off we're going to just go onto our player, go into the materials tab here, and add a new material. We're going to make this material blue. You can really make it any color, it doesn't matter. It's just so we can see him better against the green floor, uh, the gray floor that I put for him. Okay, now we're just going to go shift S and cursor to selected, and then shift A to add, add an object. We're going to add a mesh cube. You can really make this any shape you want. It's just, I'm going to make it a cube. And here we're going to add a new material again for it. We're going to make this one red because it's our enemy. Okay. Then we're gonna go to our player. We're gonna go to add game property. Add game property. It's gonna be called player. And make it an integer. Then we're gonna go from go on to our enemy. Add a near sensor. Set it to property player and make it 20 for the distance and reset distance 25 that just makes it so when it's 20 blender units uh, from the player it will go towards him or do our actuator and when it is 25 away then it will stop and we're gonna add an and control to connect that up add here two actuators the first one's gonna be an edit object and we'll change this from add object to track 2 and we'll track 2 object cube make sure that the, that's the name of your uh, player here it's cube might be different for everybody and just track 2 and our second one is going to be a motion actuator make it um, point 10 on the y axis connect those ones up both up to the end controller and then we're gonna go into the collision sensor for our enemy and we're gonna make it a dynamic. Now if you start the game up, you should see the, the enemy goes towards the player. And even when you turn, it follows him. And if we move it a bit farther from away from our player here, then he won't go, but once you get close enough to him, It's gonna start coming towards you, and if you manage to get far enough away from him, he's gonna do it. Um, you can change the speeds of it, of this. This will change the speed of your guy, because right now he's as fast as my player, so I'm just gonna make this a bit slower. 0 0.07 about. That should be good. Now our, our enemy follows our player, but our player never dies, really. It just keeps on pushing him, so we're gonna go add a game property here, name it enemy and make it from a float into an integer then go onto your player and go onto add sensor add a collision sensor collision with property enemy and make this an and controller and add a game actuator now I'm just gonna make it so it resets it by going here and setting it to restart game you can set it to whatever you want you can set it make it uh, have minus one life or something like that but I'm just gonna set it to restart for now so then now we go too close to our enemy comes towards us and if he comes and touches it us if he starts our game now the enemy can attack you but you can't attack him yet and we're gonna make it so when you jump on top of him by using the double jump from my previous tutorial it will kill him so go on your uh, cube select your cube press shift s cursor to selected and then press shift a and add a mesh plane we're gonna move this 
right under your player and scale it down a bit like that and then select the plane that you just added and select your player box and do control P to make it parent so that the plane that we added will follow your player now select the plane again add a property let's name this bottom for the bottom of the character when he jumps on the enemy change it from float to integer we're gonna uh, go on to our player here add a sensor it's gonna be collision sensor and we're basically just gonna do like our the end of game except for it's just gonna delete the enemy since you don't want to finish the game right when you defeat the first enemy and we're gonna do a collision with uh, property bottom add an and controller and make it add a new actuator make it edit object actuator and make it end object we're also gonna make it uh, send a message I'll talk about that later on just name subject uh, enemy I guess let's do that and move that up one okay then we're gonna go shift s onto our have your um, your enemy selected shift s cursor to selected and then shift a we're gonna add a mesh it's not a mesh and empty and we're just gonna move it here this is just gonna control so like when you kill one enemy another will appear you can change this it's just for testing and stuff um, you could change it to like a door or you don't even have to have it we're just gonna do it from message enemy which is our message from before connect it to the end controller and make an edit object add object and just select your cube so you can know what it's called mine's cube point zero zero three we're gonna add object cube point zero zero three and don't change that now select your player and click uh, your enemy and do M you just have to click M and then move it to the second layer and we're also gonna duplicate this and M move it to our first layer so now when we play our game oh one thing I forgot select the plane at the bottom of your player and we're gonna go here make it a ghost and an invisible so that way you won't be able to see it when you're in the game okay now go here player game you clo go close to the enemy, he'll jump, he'll go towards you, and then if you jump on top of him, he'll die, and another enemy will respawn there. And they'll just keep on coming. Just, that's how I made it. You can change it later on, or for whatever you want. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any ideas for any other tutorials, just send me a message.